Having an outdoor pond or aquarium with lotus plant is really charming. And apart from this, such setups are also good for breeding small freshwater fishes like guppies and mollies, which are also very easy to breed. I have made an aquarium for lotus plant myself and I will show how I made it. Also someone asked me about how to grow lotus plant from seeds and take care of it. So I will tell it also but in my upcoming videos. So make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications. Now lotus aquarium I made was from glass and I built it since I didn't had any ponds or pools in my house. I first built this aquarium for turtles but due to the chance of predators attack I decided to plant lotus plants and build some guppies in it if possible. So let's get started with setting up of outdoor lotus aquarium. First I decided where to place it. Lotus plant mostly grows in open area with proper sunlight and warm water. So I decided to make this setup on the top of my house where there is sufficient sunlight. Also this peta birds that eats the lotus I was growing which is named Nelembo nucifera. So I have to keep them at bay as well. I began by placing some cement bricks and then I made wood frames like this one and placed it on top of it. After that I put white thick air sponge on top of it to give aquarium a soft surface to rest on. Now I place the aquarium I built myself on top of it. Before continuing further the whole setup needs a good cleanup. Now I put some soil in it. I preferred aqua design amino ADA aqua soil Amazonia 9 liters which is normal type which is good for growing any aquatic plants and provides all essential nutrients. There is also powder type of this soil as well. You can also add a layer of powder sand before adding this soil to enable cultivation of aerobic bacteria and better root growth. If you want to buy this soil or the power sand, I have dropped a link in the description. You can buy it from there. I decided to plant the plant on the outer surface so I added soil like this. Then I put some white crystalline quartz gravels towards the center. Also make sure to thoroughly wash the soil and the gravel in water to avoid cloudiness after adding water. Now I spread all soil layers evenly so that it appears natural to the viewers but also healthy and good for plants and fishes which is very important. My layout was based on island coastal end so I made the gravel arrangement like that. You can spark your own idea and make a different outlook as well. After adding soil, now plants are added and while adding plants like lotus plants, make sure their roots are completely submerged and for that the soil layer should be a bit thicker. Now it's time to place the decos. I choose some rocks and some hiding places for fishes and water fountain pump kit which I shown in one of my earlier videos. Place these decos as pleasing to you and probably place the hiding caves for fishes in shaded places where there is more plants. It's time to add water, I choose normal tap water and after filling the aquarium you can treat the water with stress coat or similar solutions to remove harmful metals and chemicals from it. Now after adding water and adequate treatment solutions you can add fishes and water fountain pump kit and that's it. Now since this aquarium is an outdoor aquarium it can easily get algae bloom in certain seasons near to springs for that I recommend adding barley straws like this one which is very easy to make. I wrap the barley straw in mesh bags like this and place some heavy gravels in it and close the bag. You can place it in ponds or aquariums. This straw releases hydrogen peroxide which kills the algae and prevents them from growing in large amount. So you can try algae fix for ponds or pond dyes to make water clear and prevent the algae growth. Links to this are also in descriptions. You can buy it from there. So if you add these chemicals it is necessary to remove the dead waste formed from after it 
or it will pollute the water and may harm the fishes and plants in fact whatever maintenance work you do for ponds can be applied for outdoor aquariums so you can reach for other problems that can rise in it i say the pond care products are very costly so unless you can afford for it don't try to make such huge setups as pond problems are numerous and same can be applied to large setup like this one too you can also grow lotus plants in small pots as well you just need to make sure the water is good and the plant get adequate nutrients for their growth so for pot plantation you can add small amount of nutrients in certain period of time so that plant stay just healthy also if you are making lotus aquarium like this one try converting it to aquaponic setups or power it with solar inverter units to make it run efficiently so in this way i finish making my lotus aquarium and i put some guppy fish also in it for breeding them and these fishes breed more easily and can tolerate wide range of temperatures and water conditions i fed them too with dried blood worms and spirulinas so when there is feeding there is a need of filter to avoid sludge and algae formation and i just added filter too in it further i will be adding more filters to these setups and converting it to aquaponics as well but sometime later in future so for watching my upcoming videos make sure you subscribe and like this video or share it with your friends so if you are making such lotus pond or aquarium setup i hope you can find all your lotus and fish aquarium setup products from my links in the descriptions if you have any comments drop it down in the comment section below until next time bye and take care and thanks for watching